Hey everybody, this is Jace with uh, 1-800-POCKET-PC.COM and today um, we're doing the first in a series of videos about um, Windows Phone 7.5 or Windows Phone Mango which we all know is going to be released um, quote unquote fall later this year. So um, first of all um, we're going to take a look at the Bing search. Now one of the things uh, you're going to notice is I mean of course it looks very familiar. We have the background image of the day I can touch on that image and I can see, you know, the, the info about the image of, you know, that standard. We're all familiar with that. We're all familiar with the search bar here at the top. Um, really what I want to take us through is I want to look at um, some of the advancements in there. First of all, let's take a look at Local Scout. Now Local Scout is uh, an application. It's similar to, um, if you've seen them before, applications like Where or uh, you know some of those that just shows you that that local flair what's around you um, at the time so we're seeing right here <clears throat> search results for for food I mean you know standard stuff around Little Caesars Pizza McDonald's Wendy's a Chinese place in town and if I go um, if I touch that icon I can go in I got address directions I have the phone number I have the hours of operation um, again we're pretty uh, familiar with that and if I pull up on one of these locations right here um, I can suggest um, corrections for that particular place or I can pin it I can share that um, location uh, with anybody or right here I have an ad so if there's somewhere that uh, that we don't or that doesn't show up on the search um, like for example I was at Five Guys uh, Burgers the other day and it wasn't in that list so I added it into the list um, if I scroll off to the right here, you can see, of course, that Metro interface. And um, it has a couple of activities and stuff that we can take a look at. Um, you know, some different uh, festivals that have that going on there. I mean, uh, parks and recreation. I'm up in North Ogden, kind of a suburb, so there's not tons of stuff going on around here. But, you know, it, sh it shows you some local stuff that's going on around there. If I swipe off again... I have just shopping, and again, I'm in a suburb type of area, so, you know, we got a supermarket, there's a little pet store right there, Walgreens, um, and uh, just a couple of other local places, there's a golf course right in there. And we have same type of thing, phone number, addre or address, website, and, you know, we can have reviews right in there as well. And uh, swiping off again, um, highlights, you know, this is kind of, um, you know, I guess you call it kind of a featured... Um, featured kind of places around um, your area so we'll hit back right there that's your local scout um, pretty straightforward um, we li I like the interface a lot and it's actually very very useful I've used it a couple times um, the other one that I want to show you let's start out with is um, is the music sorry a little premature I'm gonna get some music going here so and basically what this is is it's um, basically an equivalent of like Shazam or something like that so if I play a track here from say my favorite band, the Appleseed Cast here, let's let that keep that playing, pull that volume up a little bit. If I hit the music, give it just a moment here. There we go. Now it's obviously correctly identified the music that I was playing. Let's pause that music there. So it's correctly identified the music that I was playing. It took just a sec. It seems like um, when you have words or something like that, it tends to identify a song a little bit quicker. But if I hit Marketplace right in here, um, of course, that's going to take me to the Zune Marketplace. And you can see, you know, there it is. This is just an EP, so there's four, um, there's four, out, four tracks right there. And if I play it, of course, you know, I can preview that track right there. So, um, integration is very, very, very nice. I like it a lot. Let's get that away. Pause that right there. So, uh, you can see, you know, this is something, again, it's a music ID service. It's similar, similar to Shazam. Um, it's very accurate. I, have, I, f I haven't found anything that it couldn't find. And I've tested it side by side with Shazam a couple times. And I've actually had times when... Um, this being a music search actually identified something that um, Shazam couldn't so it's a very very accurate service I like that now one of the last things we want to look at um, that's available is 
the Bing uh, the Bing Vision right here. Now this is something if you're a uh, if you're a window or a um, if you're a Android pre a previous Android user that you should be familiar with something like Google Goggles. So if I put a CD right in here, you know, uh, from Circa Survive, another one of my favorite bands, you can see right there. Um, it's uh, correctly identified our album again. We'll touch on that. And same type of thing. I get um, an about. I get kind of a small bio um, or an about that album, um, who the artist is. I get a rating, the genre, the year it was released, um, the type of album that it is. I get the UPC code. Um, you know, and I get a track listing with the times of the tracks. So there's a lot of info that pops up right here. Swipe off to the right, I have different reviews from different websites, um, prices, uh, different places that I can purchase the album, and again, we're, we're back to the About section right there. The other thing you do get <clears throat> that's really cool with this is I like that um, this has really replaced... Um, shop savvy right there so you can see I mean it instant it picked it up very very quickly I can touch onto this right here and again it's it's going to give us a similar type of result um, right now it's found a case of monster cans if I go off right here I can take a look at that now one of the last things that I want to show you um, with this is I like the feature on Bing Vision how I can if I go right in here I can hit scan text give it just a moment here to kind of chew through that it's found the text right there and I can touch that if I want to and of course I can copy and paste this um, into a message if I wanted to um, which it which is really really cool you know if there's a sign or something like that I like um, you know a sign for a concert or something like that I like that you can have that info readily available to you the other thing I want to do is we'll hit translate and of course that's written in English but if I want to I can scroll down here I have so so many languages available to you so we'll, we'll just pick a random one pick Japanese there you go that's the Japanese um, that's the Japanese translation of that word but if I go in here let's do something that we could read a little bit more and there we go um, I like that it's um, what it does is it translate the words and it replaces the words um, it replaces the words right over top of it in that language so I've been really really impressed with that with that feature I think that that's really really awesome so that's kind of a quick look at the uh, new new features um, in the Bing search in Windows Phone uh, 7.5 and uh, check back in the next couple weeks and you know we'll have more feature videos up for you we'll see you guys